Modesto now has over 200,000 people and is home to many different cultures and ethnicities. With agriculture and manufacturing jobs nearby, restaurants and movie theaters, schools and colleges, Modesto offers its people many special opportunities for both native and immigrant families. By creating a program for high school English learning students, Davis has become a school with an incredibly large variety of students and languages. So the Language Institute is a specialized program and we serve all of the immigrant and refugee students entering the greater Modesto area at the high school level. With that program, Davis High School has not only helped a majority of Hispanics, but has opened the doors to many new immigrants, including those from the Middle East. Our second largest demographic of students are war refugees. So from 2009 until about 2011, where, um, those students were coming from Iraq. And then we had a wave of students entering our schools from Afghanistan. In fact, we're still getting enrollments from Afghanistan. And then most recently, starting last spring, we started to receive students from Syria. Modesto's local refugee organization, World Relief, has relocated thousands of refugees and has helped with the process from beginning to end. We resettle refugees in Modesto. So um, cases are assigned to our office from Department of State. And we start pre-arrival. As soon as we get a flight notice for the families, we begin looking for housing for them, try to get um, donations from the churches, from community members, different organizations. Once the families arrive, we make sure they're picked up from the airport. They have a warm, culturally appropriate meal. Um, we get them enrolled in their appointments um, with the county office, with public health, school enrollment, social security office. Many of the refugees, fleeing their country for a better life, react surprisingly well to the new American high school environment. I would say that these students have an innate motivation that most students don't. The vast majority are escaping something, whether it be war, poverty, um, you know, religious persecution, oppression, abuse. Um, they have some pretty dark stories. So when you hear their story and then you see how joyous they are and how motivated they are, it doesn't really match up, but you can see that in their mind they've had the opportunity to start over. Valentina and Nor are both students at Davis High School and have relocated to Modesto through World Relief four years ago. The hardships they left behind, like the many bombings of their schools and neighborhoods, serve as a motivation for them to further the education. I want to get education because I don't want to get minimum wage for the whole of my life. I want to get something better for me to build my future. A lot of people in our country couldn't like get educated because of what's going on. So like maybe like since our my parents didn't get educated, I wanted to be the first one. Siblings Yosef and Ayat Faris are two of the newest students at the Language Institute. For them, the change in education and culture is extremely foreign compared to their life in their hometown of Damascus, Syria. In America, technology is better than in Syria, which is very beneficial to our education. When we were in Syria, we would use many textbooks, but here we use Chromebooks. Rosetta Stone and System 44 help us to learn the English language quickly. Everything's different. The language, the way we live, the way we get money. All my friends, school friends, my relatives, we lost contact with them. We didn't know where they went. We used to see them every day. Now we don't know where they are. Despite the initial transitions being difficult, many of the students have adapted to their new ways of life. These families are here because they had no other choice. If it was up to them, they would return to Syria. Um, but because of the dangers, they're just not able to right now. But they want to you know, have a future for their family. They want the same thing that an American wants to. Reporting for JNN, this has been Leonella Moda and Catherine Swartz.